Hello and welcome to this walkthrough update video for Pure Fusion. Pure Fusion is a fleet management, provisioning, and automation solution for the Pure operating system, what we like to call Purity. Simply put, Fusion transforms Purity from a single array management system into a multi-array storage management solution. In this demonstration, I'll go over how to create and configure fleets, show how resources are displayed across the fleet, perform some remote provisioning tasks, and introduce the new Purity Fleet CLI command, Pure Fleet, as well as updated fleet-enabled Purity commands. For the demonstration, we'll be using the Pure Fusion Experience Test Drive, which anyone can use to try out Pure Platform technologies in a hands-on lab environment with no hardware or commitment. Let's get started. Included in the Purity OS version 6.8.1 and later, Fusion is embedded and enabled on every array. You may not see the fleet option as we see here, since Fusion does require an LDAP user authentication in order for it to be able to manage multiple arrays. A local array admin is not able to manage other arrays. Once logged into the array as an LDAP user that has the array admin role assigned to them, you will see the fleet menu option on the left. So to manage fleets, we go ahead and click that option. Now we have two choices. We can either create a fleet or join an existing fleet. We're going to create a new fleet and call it fleet one. That's all there is to it. It's a very simple operation to create a fleet. Now we have a fleet of one array with flash array one in it, and we want to get another array into this fleet, our flash array two. So we're going to create a fleet key here on flash array one. We're going to click over here and click on create fleet key. Now this key is an encrypted key and it's time limited. You can only use fleet key once. As you add more arrays to the fleet, you will generate a fleet key for each one. So we'll go ahead and copy that fleet key to our clipboard. We'll go over to flash array two and we'll click on join an existing fleet. We'll put in the name of fleet one and we'll paste in the key. In just a few moments, Flash Array 2 will be a member of the fleet. Now we have Flash Array 1 and Flash Array 2 inside of Fleet 1. We're going to hop over to Fleet th Flash Array 3 and we're going to do the same. We're going to join an existing fleet. We're going to put in Fleet 1. But this time, we're not going to get the fleet key from Flash Array 1. We're going to go ahead and copy close that. We're going to go to Flash Array 2 and we'll pull the fleet key from there any member of the fleet can generate a fleet key. So this is telling me basically that you already created a fleet key. Are you sure you want to do this because the original one hasn't timed out yet? We're going to say, yep, go ahead and create the fleet key. We'll copy to the clipboard and then bring it into flash array three. So now we have a fleet of three arrays, pretty simple and pretty quick. With the fleet created, we get some new functionality in the Purity interface. Specifically, if you go to any of the object management tabs, so we'll go over to Flash Array 1, we'll click on Storage, and these are our object management tabs. We'll go ahead and click on Hosts. And now you'll get a view that will be Local Array, but also Fleet View. If we click on Fleet View, it will show you all the objects that are available throughout the entire fleet. So right now we're looking at hosts. We can also do the same for volumes. Additionally, you can manage pods remotely as well, and also for protection groups. Now with protection groups, you can manage async replication and snapshot schedules remotely on multiple arrays. There's also a fleet member dropdown on these pages. So we can quickly zero in on one or more specific arrays if you want. If for some reason you don't see all of the fleet members showing their data in a view, a fleet view, it's possible that all fleet members is not checked in this box. So one area of this functionality is particular helpful for storage administrators that have multiple arrays is that you're often asked to go find a volume by some particular attribute. As an example, say you want to resize a volume by serial number. So we can go to fleet view and type part of the serial number in the search box shown in the serial number column. And what you do is we'll go back to storage, we'll go back to volumes, 
and we're in fleet view and we'll click over on details and this is where you'll see the serial number box so we'll go ahead and enter a serial number the last four digits of a serial number that we know and that'll search through the entire fleet and show us that on flash array 2 this is 3b 4b the serial number you were looking for and this is the volume so we can go ahead and resize this volume we'll click on it we'll go over here and click on resize and we'll change it from 200 gigabyte to 300 gigabyte as simple as that the volume is resized on flash array 2 while we were on flash array 1 what we've also done is we've enhanced volume provisioning in multi-array environments. So let's, let's run through an example. We're going to go be in volumes and we're going to click on the plus symbol, like we're going to create a volume. Now you'll see that this UI has changed. We're going to give it a name and we'll make it a provision size of say 10 gigabytes. Now what we can do is we can choose where we want to place the volume based on what array we want to put it on placement target, or if we're looking for a particular pod or volume group anywhere in the fleet we want to put this volume on, or maybe we want to connect it directly to a host or host group. So maybe if we want to do that and let's type SQL in here. And we'll want to attach it to SQL cluster two, which is on flash array two. Now you'll notice that the connect volume box is automatically checked. So it actually does a formally a two-step process into a single step. We can also sign a LUN if we'd like, or pick a pod and volume group. We're just gonna go ahead and create the volume. As you can see, the volume was created and the volume is connected to the cluster. It's pretty simple. So now we can actually search for that volume, which was vol one. And you'll see that it was created over on flash array two, and it is connected to SQL 1 cluster. That's it for the GUI portion of the demonstration. Now let's flip over to the command line interface. For those that perform command line tasks and automation, Fusion is fully implemented within the Purity CLI and the REST API. So let's have a quick look at a new command that we've created called Pure Fleet. Pure Fleet accepts a couple of different arguments, member, create, delete, list, rename, and reconnect, giving you all the options of being able to manage a fleet via the command line. We've also enhanced the ability for some existing CLI commands. We've added the ability to manage the fleets using things like volumes and hosts and host groups and volume groups and P groups. So as an example, a pure vol, that command is used to manage volumes from the CLI. If we do a pure vol and we want to create a volume, we can actually see that there's a new option. And that new option is on the bottom there called dash dash context space remote. That'll create one or more volumes on a remote array. You'll see that along with other options. We do a pure host, create. You'll see context remote there as well. All available in the CLI guide and the REST API guide, you'll see everything that was added for Fusion capability. Going back to the user interface, I encourage you to learn more about uh, the fleet options that are available to you. And you can do that right on the array itself by clicking on help, either looking at the Flash Array Admin Guide, the CLI Reference Guide, or the REST API Guide. All of them contain the options to manage your fleets using Pure Fusion. Three, two. Now wrapping up our demonstration, uh, Fusion is constantly being updated as new purity versions are released. Um, as uh, the creation of this video, which was version 6.8.2, the release of Fusion includes the support you saw for managing block storage on Flash Array. Now, file system support will be coming across both Flash Array and Flash Play. And this functionality is included in the GUI as well as the command line interface and the REST API. This video series will be updated when new innovative features are added to fleet management within Purity. For now, go check out the Pure Fusion Experience test drive by contacting your Pure Storage account team 
or going to PureStores.com. Until next time, keep it simple and keep it automated.